grew up skateboarding all over town and everything. And uh, Mark was always such a good kid, like just such an innocent young gentleman, you know, model student. Um, actually, that's not exactly right. He was he was kind of bad, but uh, but I just wanted to say one one little story. I remember one time when he was going through a phase of flicking matches on things to see what would happen. Uh, if it looked like a raging inferno was about to break out, he'd, he'd stomp it out. You know, safety was always a concern. And uh, during this time, we were probably about 11 or 12. Uh, I was spending the night at his house, and his family took us out to Woody's Barbecue. Um, after dinner, Mark and I went outside to goof off while everyone else finished up. And he was flicking matches. When everyone else finally came out, we all walked over to the car, and then someone looked back at the restaurant and said, What's that? We all turned around, and one of the outdoor umbrellas was fully engulfed in flames. So everyone, everyone turned toward Mark. And to confirm our suspicion, he ran back and pulled it down and stomped it out. And everyone was very impressed. Uh, but that was a pretty standard night out with Mark back then. When we got a little older, it was always Mark, Ryan, and I. And then things really got fun. Um, with both of them, every activity was a constant comedy act. And if, if you ever spend time with them, you might know about the like constant fake out routine they do. Or if you're if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere, they can't find the car keys, you know. And or if you're if there's a huge dinner bill, no one can find their wallet. You know, if you're going to a show or a game or something, the tickets are lost at the last second. And it's one of those jokes that never gets old. And it's funnier the longer you can keep the other person going. But in spite of all these things, and actually mostly because of them. Mark is one of the greatest guys I know. He's been so lucky to have, I've been so lucky to have him play such an important role in my life. Um, he was the best man at my wedding, and um, I know I've made him out to be a little troublemaker, but in fact, he's one of the kindest, most loving, sincere people I've ever met. Um, he's already such a great father to Abby, and I know he'll be an amazing husband to you, Lindsay. Uh, I just started getting to know you, um, but I can tell how deeply Mark loves you and how happy he is to be starting a beautiful family with you. So I wish you both all the best. Yeah. So,